Hello, Team Telco. Welcome to Get Organized Part 3, uh, the course where we are helping each other to make daily plans that make us more effective and more productive. So in the last session, we talked about the fact that there's a process that we need to follow in regard to our planning. And the process goes as follows. We prepare to plan and then we plan and then we start working. And then just to quickly recap, we said that in our preparations, we need to prepare the available time that we have, as well as prepare the things that we have to do. In, avail in preparing the available tasks or the tasks that we have to do, we have to look at what tasks we have. Maybe we pick them from a weekly or monthly list. We sort them by urgency. We prioritize them. We, we sort them by category or type, maybe phone calls, emails, uh, reports, and so on. So we organize our tasks first and foremost. Then we go on to organize our time. And all of this is in the section under preparation. So we organize our time. So we say, what time of the, the day is our peak focus time? What time is a low energy time? What time do we start working? What time do we stop working? How much time do we av have available in total during the day? And really, how much work can we actually get done every day? So now, here are the preparation rules. Um, we then said, um, it makes it simpler if we've already thought about some preparation rules that we stick to. So some preparation rule examples are, I plan my week on a Sunday. I take 30 minutes every morning between uh, 6.30 and 7 to plan my day. I, um, I do one project every week. I, I do my reporting from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. So this is, this is what we call preparation rules. And these predefined rules save us time. They save us energy. They reduce the decision making we have to make. And they set us up for success. Um, so now uh, we need to consider, as we go along, we need to consider what are some of our limitations. Some of our limitations have to do with two questions. How much time do I have? So time itself is a limitation because, as you know, we only have a limited amount of time per day. We've only got 24 hours in a day of which we spend eight hours of those sleeping um, and maybe eight hours of those in the workplace. And then also doing other things that are important to us, like spending time with our families and our children and eating and exercising. And so we've got a limited amount of time every day. Then the other limit is we can we only have a limited amount of energy. So a limited amount of energy that we can use for working. You cannot work 24 hours a day, even if you wanted to. So there are those inherent limitations and those must be taken into consideration when you are making your plan. So. Here's a big question for you. What is the limiting factor for you? Is it your time or is it your energy? For me, I know that my biggest limiting factor is not actually time because I can, I can go for long periods of time and I can dedicate large chunks of time to doing stuff because I'm single, I don't have any kids and so on. But the inherent limitation for me is my energy. At certain times of the day, my energy dips very, very low and I'm not able to concentrate. I'm not able to focus as much as other times of the day. So, uh, time limit. Um, <clears throat> We, when we're looking at, if your limitation is time, take a calendar and block out all the time that's already taken. So all the time that you take to eat, all the time that you take to take your kids to school, all the time that you're sleeping, block out all of that time. Um, and then block out mandatory leisure time. Like it's important for us to be healthy. It's important to walk or exercise. It's important to uh, spend time with loved ones. Then after you've done all of that, you calculate how much time is left over and multiply that by a factor of 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 to account for inefficiencies and natural time breaks. So I hope you got that. You calculate how much time is left over after you've taken out all the other blocks of time that you're doing important things like sleeping, eating, traveling, spending time with loved ones, doing some fun activities and exercising and so on. So let's say I've got eight hours left uh, after I've done all of that. And then I multiply that eight hours by a factor of between 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. So in other words, if I multiply it by 0 0.5, it means I've got four hours 
that I can really plan around because the other four hours is going to be taken up by inefficiencies, natural breaks, uh, things that I didn't expect to happen. Okay, so this is where time is a limiting factor. If energy is your limiting factor, then the exercise that you need to do is you need to track each task you're actively working on for a few weeks. Obviously, it helps to plan these first. And then make sure you stop tracking when you take breaks. So uh, the time tracking feature in Udu is brilliant for this, and I use it for this all the time. And it's now helped me to know, for example, that uh, it takes me about two minutes to process each email. And I get about 600 emails in my inbox every day. And so when it comes to blocking out time for reading emails, I need to plan a good two hours to do that because averagely it takes me about two minutes to process my uh, my 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 each mail. And so I need about 120 minutes in order to process my mailbox fully every day. Um, so I uh, that I figured out by tracking this over a lo long period of time. The last couple of months I've been tracking this and this is how I know the statistic now. And, and, and this is how my patterns have emerged. Um, and so now I know that when I need to clear my inbox, I need to set aside a good two hours in order to do justice to it. So here are a few strategies and tips as we wind up uh, this session. We, I'd initially said that this will take three sessions, but I think we're going to need a couple more sessions just to finish off um, and to make sure that we've done the exercises thoroughly. So a couple of strategies and tips. Just plan your morning. Um, you see, it's easy to compare your planned activity versus unplanned. If you don't plan at all, it's very difficult to analyze where you're going wrong. Um, it's very important that it takes time um, for you to actually um, get used to planning. So you've got to give yourself a target to say for the next three or four weeks, I'm going to plan diligently every day. Um, and during that time, you'll develop a habit and that habit um, will then become a, a clear, clear um, thing that you do for the rest of your life. Um, and if you can just plan your morning, morning determines the rest of the day. So that routine that you do in the first two hours of the day is going to set the tone for the rest of the day. So that's where we're going to start. That's what we're going to do this week is we're going to start by planning the rest of your day. Okay, so there's some exercises for you to do um, as normal. And uh, please get going with those exercises and we will catch up again and get organized part four.